Today is my birthday. Today is my 28th birthday. That's right. Boop, 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 boop. Happy birthday, Nash. Happy birthday, Nash. <laughs> Yay! Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to my One Dog Cozy Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> it's become a thing now, One Dog Cozy. So today is going to be a special episode because today is my 28th birthday. That's right guys, it is June 27th of 2023, meaning I am turning 28 years old today. <laughs> um, my birthday is June 27th. I am a Cancer for anyone who was into Zodiacs. Um, and I'm a Cancer through and through, I'll tell you that. But anyways, um, <laughs> with that being said, today is going to be a bit of a mini-sode. And what I mean by mini-sode is it's probably going to be shorter than a normal Let's Play episode. And it's also not going to be as progressive in the world. It's just going to be a fun episode where we do something very small. It's going to be exciting though. We are going to be baking our first cake in this world. And we're going to be putting a candle on top and everything. And we're also going to be going and trying to find presents around the world aka buried treasure <laughs> because to be honest that's kind of the only form of presence and mysterious things that you well there's a lot of mysterious things you can find in minecraft but right now it's kind of all we have access to but yeah i hope you guys are excited i know we do a lot of uh treasure hunting in this series it's just i mean it's one of my favorite things to do in minecraft so i do tend to do it quite often and i always want to show you guys when i get resources because i don't want you guys coming back to the series later and being like where did you get those diamonds why do you have 10 hearts of the sea why do you, you know what i'm saying so i just well, i want to share everything with you guys because i want to make sure that you know exactly where everything came from <laughs> so yeah but uh let's hop into the episode i've been gabbing on too much so i thought we could do some birthday type things oh jeez oh gosh okay these guys apparently want to say happy birthday to me too i should have known at the speed that that wandering trader was running in that uh there was something spooky coming oh my gosh all right let's take care of you guys but today what i want to do is i want to make a birthday cake i want to make a cake with for myself and i want to get some candles to put on the cake which means we are gonna have to go find some bees somewhere and i actually think i know where bees are but the only thing about that oh crap i didn't even think about this i'm gonna need either silk touch or a smoke smoke i'm gonna need a smoke mount okay we've got some prep work to do today we've got things to do also i've been trapping wandering trader llamas in boats like this so i can get leads just so my my camels don't wander off anymore i really need to tie this one up uh, so if you see random llamas in boats just know it's for um to get leads okay so for this cake we've got to find a few things in the world which is one of my favorite things to do in minecraft is go exploring as we all know now i'm gonna need three buckets and i currently don't have enough iron to make another bucket i can only make two buckets we're literally short one iron so i'm sure actually wait we can make three buckets i have some nuggets here for making lanterns oh yeah oh yeah that's what i'm talking about okay so we need three buckets of milk we're gonna have to go find some cows to uh steal their milk we need some wheat and then we need sugar for our cake we are baking experts baking with nash i love this and then uh yeah we are going to go we need to get cows and then we need to get eggs now the good thing is we only need one egg so this shouldn't be too difficult to go out in the world find a chicken get an egg <laughs> that sounds like such an intense mission that's not really intense at all but i'm hoping that one if we wait and are patient long enough a chicken will pop out an egg i do know that there are several cows over in this direction and ooh, actually while i do that i know there's a beehive over there as well because i've explored quite a bit of this area so let me make sure I grab a campfire. We're making up our charcoal so that we can get a campfire going. Hello. Okay, Gidget. Oh, Gidget just wants to be in my space at all times without fail every single time. So I think what we need is wooden sticks and charcoal. Campfire, campfire, campfire. Sticks and logs. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now I should be able to craft it. There we go. We're just going to need one of these to smoke out the beehive, which will be good. But like I said, we're out here to find cows. We need to get three buckets of milk. We need to get uh, a beehive. And there is a bee right there in front of us. That is where we're bee lining to. And it looks like there's three bees in here, which is awesome because can't we get an advancement? Dang it. I think if we had silk touch, we could uh, technically get an advancement wow three buckets from one cow that's impressive <laughs> let's see if this has honey seeping out of it no okay so i guess i don't hang out here enough uh another thing we're gonna want to do is they need flowers i might have to go grab some flowers so that we can put them around here and they can actually produce honey i i don't know i actually don't really work with bees that much in this game so I don't exactly know how they work, but I feel like getting them some flowers is probably the best idea. And I should have some back at my base at home. Oh, wait a second. There's actually a couple right here over the, over the ridge. These are perfect. We'll do all the yellow flowers since it seems like the most, uh, there's the most of those. There we go. <laughs> awesome. But we're missing one last ingredient. I do actually, you know what? Let's leave this campfire over here. Because I, I went through the trouble of making it. I might as well actually place it down. So we're going to take that out, put the campfire down, and then we don't want... Oh, we don't want the bees to burn on the fire, though. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay, really quickly, I'm going to run back home. They should be inside, I believe, at nighttime. So we have time to go get some trapdoors and we can keep these bees safe. Because I think pretty positive they'll burn themselves on the campfire if we don't um, cover it. All right, we're getting attacked by a spider, but I'm here to secure... The beehive for when the bees wake up so that they can stay safe. So this will still smoke out the beehive, which is good. Um, but it will allow them to not catch on fire. <laughs> so that is very, very nice. But it's time to get back to the base and sleep because this place is dangerous. So I've been thinking about what I would want to do for my birthday. I feel like every birthday you usually have an event that you do something fun that uh i should not be walking in the, in that mode of the game anyways uh yeah i've been thinking about what i want to do for my birthday i think it'd be a fun idea to go take on a warm ocean ruin and see if we could find a sniffer egg i think that would be pretty fantastic pretty fun something i've never done before and you know a sniffer like that's an entirely new mob in the game but we need to locate a warm ocean temple first drown temple and we definitely want to bring our brush with us so i am going to do that and currently basically what i'm doing is i'm waiting for the bees to kind of make the honey so we can get the candle if you know what i mean and i figured in the meantime what a great time for an adventure right so let's do that so if you guys remember we were looting out some stuff in the ocean we found this potion of water breathing which is going to be super helpful for us. I am, of course, going to bring my doors as well. Those are always necessary when doing some underwater looting. Ooh. Okay, I think there's one. So my house is, like, right over there. I think there's a very, very small drowned temple here. This isn't as impressive <laughs> as I originally expected. But it looks like we actually do have some suspicious sand here. Actually, right here. That's kind of cool. There's no way there's going to be a sniffer egg like in the first try. I feel like they're going to be pretty rare. But, you know, I'm down. I'm down to try. I want to see what I can do. So we got this water breathing potion going. Um, Let me grab my shovel out. That's probably going to be a little bit helpful. There we go. Awesome. Is there any more or just this one? Yeah, right here. Suspicious. Oh, okay. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Oh my gosh. Is that a potter? What is that? What did I get? I, did I get a stick? I don't actually know what I got from that. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Oh, there's a chest here, though. Wait, that's awesome. I got water breathing. Why am I so afraid? Let's see what's in here. Oh, a fishing rod. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of keep checking this area for any suspicious sand because I heard that these warm oceans, little warm ocean areas, should have the eggs at them or they can here's another little piece of suspicious sand and it looks like we're getting an emerald from this one so that's pretty cool having this water breathing potion is incredible we should get to a potion making soon ah look at this ah new pottery shard cool there's another piece right here okay of suspicious sand 
Give me something good. What are you? What even is that? Did I get a piece of wheat? So it seems like we're not going to get too lucky on the sniffer egg front here. Is this another suspicious sand? No, that's normal. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to find another one. This one was uh, very small. I think I found another one. All right, let's go in and check this out, guys. See if we can get a sniffer egg. Oh, that would be incredible if we could. I'm not seeing any drowns here, but there's definitely some sand. Oh, yeah. All right, get me in here. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so now we just have to start excavating away. Also, I do kind of want to take that magma block. Is this suspicious sand here? It's so hard to tell. Oh, and we have a chest. Nice. What do we got? An emerald. Another fishing rod. I could combine these. Oh, that's incredible. And more coal. You guys know how, how much I need coal. Oh, I think it's a piece of wheat. No. We have another here. Another one here. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I seriously don't even know what that was. Okay, we've got a couple more pieces here. Yeah, two more pieces here. All right, let's keep trying. Come on, sniffer egg, sniffer egg, sniffer egg. Okay, sniffer egg, emerald. Okay, I'll take it. So we're off to find another one, I guess. Now, actually, while we're over here, I want to make a brief pit stop because as I was zooming by, I found a mangrove swamp. I mean, this is really cool. This is a super cool find. Still get super excited whenever I find these. Actually, I kind of want to go through here. There's like a little archway. Ooh. <laughs> Just to make it fancy. Look, chickens too. We might be able to get an egg out of one of those. Oh, I love finding mangrove swamps. So cool. I love moss blocks as well. Oh, we need to get moss blocks. Propicule. Definitely going to take those as many of those as I can. I'm actually not gonna take the wood. I'm just gonna take the propicules because then we can just grow these back at our base. This also might be a good chance for me to get some vines so that we can also grow these back at our base. I really need to mark down the location of this place though because finding a mangrove swamp is so fun and maybe it's a place we can build in later. But it's off to find another warm ocean temple in hopes. Did any of you lay an egg? You actually laid an egg, hold on. Hold on, hold on, wait, you actually laid an egg, didn't you? Am I, am I losing my mind? I could have sworn one of you literally, oh yes, we got it. Okay, that's our egg for our uh, birthday thing. Oh, and another egg. Okay, that secures us two eggs. <laughs> I love it. All right, now to find a sniffer egg, not a chicken egg, a sniffer egg. Wherever I see shiny, glowy blue, that's you usually a good sign that there is a temple there which is nice there is also a shipwreck over here which is good um so i think this drown is gonna be easy yeah he doesn't look too menacing let's uh go in and take him out really quick and then we can start trying to get into this temple okay here we are so any suspicious sand come on well hey one is better than nothing uh, ooh, berry treasure map. I will take that. Some more food, some more coal. I will definitely take all that. Okay, time to brush this away. Sniffer egg, sniffer egg, sniffer egg. Come on. And it's a hoe. <laughs> it's a wooden hoe. No. Are these extremely rare, you guys? Am I gonna not have any luck with this? Okay, we have another one here. Let's see what this is. Sniffer egg, sniffer egg, sniffer egg, sniffer egg. I think it's rotten flesh. Oh no, it's a shard. Okay. Well, I'll take those. I'm super open to those anytime. Oh, we have one more suspicious sand here. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this block on top. Sniffer egg, sniffer egg, sniffer egg, sniffer egg, pottery shard. <laughs> like I said, I'll take all the shards. I'm not mad about it. So there is the shipwreck here. You can get sh good stuff from shipwrecks. Uh, so I'm going to loot this out. That's for sure. Hopefully it's a it's a full shipwreck. All right. See this. This is the good stuff. This is like how I get 90% of my iron. You guys, I have not been mining at all in this world. Cave mining. Well, okay. I have done underwater mining. I guess that, that does technically count. But I haven't been like caving or um, like gone into a cave and mined or strip mined in this world at all at all 
um, which is really awesome. All right, so it looks like we're actually loading this one in. So if we go just over here, maybe, yeah. Oh, yep, it's it's like right here. This is awesome. There's a creeper right there and a zombie. Hold on. All right, we gotta do some clearing out of the mobs before we uh, find this treasure. Stick the white bit out and then dig straight down. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So it didn't take me too much time to find this. So that's good. Hey, at least, I mean, if we're not getting a sniffer egg, I am glad we are getting some treasure. Ah, uh, potion of water breathing. That's going to be a two. That's so helpful. Way more iron. Love it. I use iron for everything. More cooked fish, hearts of the sea. Okay, let's actually break this chest. You guys, uh, this actually leads me to the comment of the day. I forgot to do it in the last episode, so I do apologize. But you guys told me that if I break the chest where the wherever a buried treasure map takes you to the X marks the spot, you go, you find the chest. If you break the chest, and then future maps that you find, buried treasure maps, aren't going to lead you to that chest anymore because it's not there, they can't locate it, they can't find it, so they're not going to be able to actually send you there anymore, which I think is just a super helpful tip because um, I, uh, you guys saw in a previous episode that I actually left the chest there thinking, oh, like, it's fine, um, there's no stuff in it, it's not going to lead me back there. But the truth is that it will if you don't break the chest. So make sure you break those chests. So I want to say, yeah, we should be right above it. Uh, the only problem is here. Let me put a door down. The only problem, let's, it's going to be like right there. I need to make a new shovel just to make my life a little bit easier. Okay, sticks, shovel, we're good to go diving. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so it should be in this general area. So we're just going to kind of dig around until we find it. I know it's here somewhere. <gasps> there it is! It's under the dirt. I, I couldn't see it because of the reflection of the shaders making it a little bit difficult. Uh, yes! We got two more diamonds! Okay, diamonds for my birthday. I will take it. We're back at the base and it's time to make cake. But... First, we need a candle, so we should head over to the beehive, check it out, and see if there's any wax there yet, so that hopefully we can just squeeze one candle out of that beehive. Here is the beehive. Let's see, are you full yet? Yes, it actually is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if we shear this, because there's a, a little campfire under here, we should be good. They shouldn't get mad at us. And we got three. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I think if we put this with string, right, we get... Oh, look at that. Look at all the honey falling on the... Oh, that's amazing. Ah, little little bee. Are we going to get to see pollen? They're, po they're, they're collecting the pollen. Can we see their little booties with the pollen? Oh, I got to come back and take this beehive home. Definitely want to make a, a little bee sanctuary. That'd be super cool. Oh, we saw it. Kind of saw it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Little pollinated booty is all is, is nice. Um, but anyways, let's head back to the base and let's bake a birthday cake. We are back at the house and it is time to make my birthday cake. But first things first, we got to make ourselves a candle. So that is just some honeycomb and some string. Boom. Candle. Nice. <laughs> and then what we got to do is look over my fridge over here and look at this. I've got everything we need to bake the perfect birthday cake. So we need two things of sugar and then we can come over to our crafting bench. And I think the milk goes on top and then the eggs in the middle and then sugar, sugar, and then wheat. There we go. There is our birthday cake. Let's take our buckets out and then we can place this down with our candle on top. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it is so cute. Oh my word. Dun, da, da, dun. Oh, how exciting. It's the small things in life, guys. It really is. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, I officially made my birthday cake as I stand here. And uh, I guess just think about my birthday i don't i don't know what i'm saying but 
that is going to finish out this video, this mini sode of my cozy let's play. I know we didn't really do too much progress in the world today, but it was a special day. It's my uh, 28th birthday, 28 years around the sun, which is such a crazy and awesome birthday. I can't believe like part of me is like, I, I feel old. <laughs> like it feels kind of old, but then you know, I still have so many years of my life to go. So it's really not old in the grand scheme of things. But to me, it's just like, wow, I can't believe I'm 28 already. That's crazy. I just want to thank you guys. Um, to anyone who says happy birthday down in the comments section, thank you in advance. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This next year of being 28 is going to be great. 28 and great. <laughs> what can I say? And uh, I'm definitely going to make a wish, but I can't tell you guys what it is because, uh, that's going to spoil the surprise. So yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you in the next cozy let's play episode where I promise we are going to build something or get up to something a little bit more um, progressive in the world. But this was just a fun little mini episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you so much. Have a very beautiful, wonderful June 27th, my friends. And if it's not June 27th when you're watching this, I hope you have a beautiful day, whatever day it is. And I will catch you in the next Cozy Let's Play episode. Bye, guys. You thought I was going to leave the video without actually eating any of the cake? You're crazy. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I actually got one. It's my birthday. I had to get myself a present. <laughs> In fact, we found two.